Hey guys, um, and welcome. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to um, a tutorial on how to draw an arc in Java, um, or you might call it an arch, whatever your preference is. Um, an arc is pretty much a semicircle. Uh, you see it in tons of places like bridges and I don't know, uh, that's just one example, and my mind is breaking right now and I can't think of other examples, but that's a pretty good example for right now. Um, and I will show you what an arc is, and they're pretty cool, and you can draw them uh, just like we draw uh, circles, squares, etc. So let's get started. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to write g dot draw arc and then we have x y width height start angle arc angle and you can see why I split this up into a separate tutorial um, I will be explaining this as we go along and you'll understand it by the end um, so first let's do int x equals 200 and then int y equals 200 now what this is is where the arc will be drawn. We want it to be drawn at the coordinates 200 by 200. So 200 pixels uh, in and then 200 pixels down. And that's um, actually no, 200 pixels right and then 200 pixels up. Um, and I'll explain that once we actually draw it. Um, and so once we've entered the coordinates where it's going to be drawn, we're going to type in int height equals 100 and then int width equals 100. Now um, what this means is how long the arc will be and how high the arc will be. Since we want it to be well like a semicircle we're gonna make it 100 by 100 and we'll change up these when we uh, actually draw it. And now here's some um, a little bit more confusing part uh, is int start angle let's set that to zero and then int arc angle equals 180 now what this means um, the start angle is where the arc is going to start and to explain this let me run it because it's kind of hard to explain without a visual so let's save and here we have the arc. So if you look here, it looks like a semicircle, and this is what happened. The arc was started at angle zero, which is right here. The arc then went up, uh, and it was told to do an angle of 180 degrees. So it went up and back down to 180 degrees. Now, we could change these so it looks a little bit different, but that's pretty much the gist of it. The height of the arc was a total of 100 pixels, and the width of the arc was also a total of 100 pixels. And that's pretty much how it works. Um, now, let me change up some of these a bit. So let's close the window, window, and let's change this to, say, 90, and save. Now let's run it. Now you'll see that the angle was rotated um, to a 90 degree angle. So it started at 90 degrees and it went down and curved to make 180 degrees. Now we could change this to say 45 and then change this back to zero to make it more visually appealing. And you'll see that it only drew a 45 degree angle right here. So think of the vertex as this little point, this invisible point, and then imagine the vertex going out and creating a 45 degree angle. And that's pretty much how it works. And we can change some of these things. So let's make, let's put, first of all, let's put this back to 180. And let's make the width 75 and the height 200 and save. Now let's take a look. See, it has made a a uh, much higher arc than before and um, 
that's because we changed the height to be much taller and the width to be lower. So the width across is only 75 pixels, while the height is 200 pixels. Now let's change this to 360 to go all around. Now if you look here, it's actually created an oval. And since we made a 360 degree angle, it only needed to create an oval and it never actually had a point where it stops and doesn't connect. It connects because this point, this angle goes all the way around rather than stopping at say 180 degrees or 45. Um, and yeah, so that is pretty much how to use arcs um, in drawing in Java. And they can be pretty cool and definitely really helpful. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys something pretty, pretty cool. We're going to be doing something with moving animations. So uh, get pumped for that, and I'll see you in the next one.